Welcome to the evening news. Paper. Create my January playlist. It's gonna be just uh, one song per day. So every playlist will have like 30, 31 songs on it. And then at the end of the year, I'll make them all into one big playlist. Emma Blackery stole my Spotify playlist idea. That was my idea. I did the playlist thing. You even made it into my September playlist twice. Speaking of songs, that brings us to... The song of the day goes to Fake Happy by Paramore. Sounds great. Every good newspaper has the funnies. Sometimes you just get that one video that just hits you right here. Just right in your chest. This is that video for me. Number 15, Burger King Foot Lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger is someone's foot fungus, but as it turns out, that might be what you get. A 4chaner uploaded a photo anonymously to the site showcasing his feet in a plastic bin of lettuce with the statement, This is the lettuce you eat at Burger King. Admittedly, he had shoes on, but that's even worse. The, the last thing, thing you want in your, your Burger, Burger King, King burger is someone's foot, foot fungus, fungus, but as, as it turns out, out that, that might, might be what you get. get. And now it's time for the foreign language of the day. Ah yes, French. Personne ne chappe à mon regard. Step into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. When I was a girl, I had a fear of spiders. The French language is beautiful. It can turn Montreal into Montreal. Lately I've been learning French on Duolingo, but I'm not very good at it yet. So in the meantime, I've been Frenchifying Spanish. These phrases don't make any sense, but they kind of sound cool. Como estas? Como esta? Yo estoy yendo al parque. Je t'en yendo le parc. Rindete a mi voluntad. Rindete a mi voluntad. It's like all the suaveness of French without the French. Hey, uh, I just thought I'd show you a couple of the programs I've been working on lately in my programming classes, just because if you were here, I'd probably be showing them to you. So why not show you over the internet? Uh, this is uh, Composite Numbers. It's uh, program number four in my assembly class. And, uh, oh god, assembly is such a weird language. It looks like this. The program just shows up to 400 composite numbers, so if you say show me 401, it, it'll say out of range. I had to program that. Same with 0. But if I just type in like 350, it'll give me the first 350 composite numbers. Composite numbers are just the opposite of prime numbers. Yeah, this one was actually kind of fun to program. This other program that I had to make in my uh, my C++ programming class, uh, it was a lot less fun to make. It uh, really beat me up, to be honest. <laughs> so if I type make, it you know it compiles all of it. I I programmed a make file, and it it yeah I made it do that. It's so cool. Anyway, if I launch Tycoon, I thought you'd get a kick out of this or something. It's it's like Zoo Tycoon. We had to program a sort of Zoo Tycoon where you start out with a hundred thousand uh, dollars, and you you can have three types of animals uh, every day. The animals age up a little bit. Uh, you can buy animals, so. It, that's what it's asking me now, and like some other stuff happens. I, I I didn't quite finish this one. There's supposed to be like a limit on how many animals you can own, 
but I didn't implement that. And also, uh, birthing just completely broke, so that's not a thing. But I can just infinitely buy monkeys, and unless I run out of money, which I don't think I will, yeah, I can just keep buying monkeys forever. And like, because monkeys earn me a certain amount of revenue, I, I just keep earning more and more money, because the cost of a monkey is a lot less than how much I'm making per day through monkey revenue. So I end up with just a ridiculous profit. Oh gosh, what a profit. And uh, at this point, you can't really lose. So uh, the only way to exit the game is through a game over, because I, I didn't program that either. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, that's the end of that program, I guess. I just wanted to show you the code a little bit. So this is the uh, zoo class. Uh, it's, it's pretty horribly programmed. Uh, this function should not ever be this many lines of code. This is a horrible design. Uh, nothing is labeled, hardly. I have a few labels here and there, uh, <laughs> or a few comments, I should say, labels or something else. But uh, yeah, this um, it's, it's not a it's not a great not a great program. But you know, Zoo Tycoon. Vic McKinnon was an Australian rules footballer who played with Hawthorne in the Victorian Football League. That's all there is to that story. That concludes today's news report.